Hey everybody, good morning. I'm actually just popping in to say good morning, but I am on my way to work. I'm actually running late. What's new? I woke up really, 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 really late this morning. Uh, skin is skinning. Okay, I'm on my way to work. I should be back in the afternoon. Um, yeah, I need to share with you two books that I'm currently reading. Talk a little bit about that. I'm actually on my YouTube break. You guys think I'm on a break. But can't seem to put the camera down. You know what I'm saying? But it's okay. I'm actually filming this at my pace, at my leisure. There's going to be a lot of voiceovers for this um, uh, vlog. There's going to be a lot of voiceovers. And it might be really long so that we can put in more content in the membership space. So I'm just going to be filming clips here and there. Whatever I'm feeling comfortable with. Um, and today I just felt like picking up the camera as well, like I did yesterday. So, uh, I'm going to head to work. I'll be back. I really want to try out this crazy, crazy, uh, viral cucumber salad that's on TikTok right now. And I'm a lover of cucumber. Like I have cucumber almost every single day. Yeah. With meat. I'm on this health kick right now. So I'm eating proteins and salads only and pretty much every day it's a tomato cucumber salad sometimes it's with it's with greek yogurt sometimes it's with lemon juice sometimes it's with dill but i have it pretty much every day i've been having it for four days straight so because i'm a cucumber lover i'm definitely going to try out this cucumber salad but we'll do it later so yeah okay i'll talk to you guys a little bit later let me go to work child Hey, it's the next day and I, it, it's been a busy morning. It's been a busy and rather stressful day and it's half past three. I saw, I think the content that you last saw is when I was going to work yesterday and I thought to myself that when I come back, I'm going to share a little bit of the book that I recently read and finished. And what I'm currently reading, I never got an opportunity to do that. Sorry! It is currently half past three the next day. And I've been doing some work. And um, the, 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 <laughs> the, the, the story of the day is I haven't eaten all day. All day. I'm starving. I want an avocado on toast. That's all I want. I just want that salt with a little bit of sweetness from blueberries. That's all I want. That's, that's the only thing that will make me happy right now. And then maybe I might come back a little bit later and discuss this book with you that absolutely just blew my mind. Blew my mind. It's called Really Good, actually. Really Good, actually. It's by Monica Hazy. And I saw the the uh what do you call them i saw the reviews on goodreads and they're not the best but the craziest thing is i loved it i loved it so much and i'm currently going to start as of tomorrow because i'm too bushed to handle today or reading today um i'm going to start yinka where's your who's bond tomorrow and yeah so i will be sharing what i'm currently reading what i just finished and what i will be starting a little bit later on right now all i want to do is just eat bro i feel like if i don't eat i'm gonna fall off so let's let's rather do that i'm waiting for a really important text that's going to determine the status of my life today
be happy, okay? Just wanna be happy, just for one day. Just, can I just be happy? It's such a stressful week. I really don't wanna deal with any of this. I don't feel like making an espresso is too much work, eh? Okay? So I wanted to make a this viral cucumber salad that's on TikTok. But to be honest, I'll do it tomorrow. And I wanted to show you how. But hey, everybody, it's a, a number of days after a, well, the last footage that you saw. It's a Saturday afternoon. It's going on half past three. It's going on half past three. I washed my hair this morning, so it's looking pretty fresh and put together. I love it. It's a very long man. And I got a Luma and it basically indicates what I'm going to do with the NHM. Anyway, hi. Uh, it's a Saturday. Half past three, like I said. And I'm about to put my face on because I've been invited to something that I haven't really gone to in a while. In a while. And oh, keep out thinking and around. I really just don't even feel like going. I've been invited to a bra, you know. If you're not South African, a bra is like a barbecue, okay? And uh, uh, I'm way past the stage where I can just be attending uh, events without a face on. 
it's just not a thing, you know. So I just need to put something cute nyana on my face. I'm not bothered about here. Here, psh, it can be either one of my tracksuits or jeans and a cute jersey. But to be honest, my tracksuits. They're warmer. It's winter. And trust, there's nobody there that I'm trying to impress. Just say, I've just been asked to uh, step out and join some people at a place. And I found out about this, I think in last week, about a week ago today. Like, oh, next week is going to be this thing. And the nice thing is, it's around the corner from my house. So it's literally 10, 15 minutes. So, hush up. You know, I don't mind doing that. I'm going to do a very basic face, please. Spare me with eh, fancy things, right? Uh, so yeah, going to this bride. I there's obviously gonna be people there, women, men. I, to be honest, I'm really not in in the mood. I'm used to going to brides with like uh, two, three, four nyana people, and I know all the people there at that bride. Now I'm going to a bride where only no one person. Maybe two, yeah. Maybe two, three at most. But outside of that, one person. And now, hey. Simba felt like, yeah, you know the reason why I'm going there is that the person that invited me to this thing. One, it's in my neighborhood, which is nice. But also, two, it's somebody that I haven't seen in a very long time. A very long time. So I was just like, ah, you know. It's a good catch up without that person having to come here. Because I don't want, I don't, I don't like visitors. I like, I'm at that stage in my life currently where I'm just like, no to visitors. <laughs> I'm just like, nah, bro. Uh, the visitors can miss me, okay? They can miss me. So I'm like, okay, rather, rather I go there for like an hour or two, yeah, I want, and then come home. Yeah, but it's simple, that thing. And then come home. So that's what I'm gonna do. Am I really looking forward to it now? Not really. Honestly, not really. But because the person who invited me is a good friend of mine for years now, you know, like literally over 15 years. I was just like, I okay, let me go show my face. So going there. And then tomorrow, so there won't be much filming today. I'm just uh, catching you in here. Um, but I do want to, before I leave the house, it's like three now. I'll probably leave for the couple five or six even. Five, maybe. Five, five, five. So that when it's like seven o'clock, I can be back home. Yeah, um, but But I also do want to talk about, uh, like I said, the books that I've, I'm currently reading. Uh, currently reading two, finished one a day and a half ago and I'll talk to you guys about that when I'm downstairs because the copies of the books are downstairs and I want to show you the copies but otherwise uh I don't know man I'm not I'm at that phase of my life where I mingling with people it's I'm not there man yet feel I want I'm just like I'll I'll mingle with the people that I'm used to mingling with hear my chat so I this one, Simba fella, I'm just going because, shame man, it was, it was an, it sounds like it's me saying it was an Akashem invite, but it was an invite by a good friend. So I was just like, eh, considering that I haven't seen this friend in a while, I, let me just go and go kiki and, and kiki with grown-ups for a little bit and then come home. Imagine putting a face on only for just four hours. Yes, 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 when I put a face on, I'm putting the face on for the whole day. Imagine just three, four hours, and then you gotta come take it off. Ridiculous. I've literally had the absolute laziest morning. It's been nice. It's been nice. I stayed in bed till around midday. I mean, imagine that. That's so unlike me, but it's nice. I feel like lately all I do is sleep. If I'm not working, I'm sleeping. And I like that, man. I just feel energized, got a lot of energy, 
you know, I'm recharged these days. I like it. I love it for me, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's also because there's hardly any plans to go anywhere. <laughs> Those ones come up every blue moon, every three weeks, nyana, every fortnight, nyana, kila one, then the plans will show up. But outside of that, now. Nah. Um, but, yeah, so I'm just going to go make nice with other children and... I genuinely don't feel like it but uh, let me put this face on real quick and then I'll probably leave in is it windy outside yes it is because I'm hearing doors shut and all of that uh, I'll probably leave it in about an hour and a half or so I just want to have my face done because I find it exhausting to leave it to the last minute and then I change my mind and then my friend is disappointed. <laughs> I didn't even agree. I was just like, oh, okay, maybe I'll come. We'll see what, what. But now that I think it's just around the corner, Shem, you know, it would be a nice thing to do, I guess. So anyway, let me do my face. Drink my coffee. Mm. Drink my coffee. Mm. And then... uh layer up before the the alcohol you know enter in enter <laughs> okay face has been done so today i want to try out I haven't worn this for the whole day. I think I remember wearing it once, but it wasn't for the whole day. This is the Superstay Vinyl Ink, and it is in tin, lippy. That's what it looks like here. Here, here. Just trying to get this extra plastic. All right, so let's try it on. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know how I feel about this color. Uh, colors that are not nude or red for me. I, I, as I've gotten older, I start to feel some type of way about them. But it's fine. It's cute. Uh, knowing me, I might take it off before I go. Okay, fine. I guess it's okay. So it does get a bit more pigmented if you apply a little bit more. But damn, that face! That face! It's fantastic. Okay, let's go downstairs. And I just don't feel like going there. Anyway, the books that I am currently reading in a book that I recently finished, okay? The one I recently finished is this one. This is really good, actually, by Monica Hazy. This book was so real for me. As somebody who never really enjoyed Sally Rooney's books, I was never really a fan, you know, normal people, <laughs> conversations with friends, okay? This one follows a woman by the name of Maggie and the book opens with her going through a separation from her husband, Juan. okay? Um, they're in a fight and then she says, you know what, maybe it's just best that uh, we just call this all if we get a divorce. John is like, ha, Uma, go in, serious, okay. He says, okay, right? So they go through the separation but what we watch unfold is Maggie's behavior, um, you know, post-separation, right? So it's a lot of self-deprecating behavior. She really is an unlikable character. And I feel like a lot of people would say that about her. She's very unlikable in the sense that she just self-sabotages. She makes really bad decisions, you know. She starts dating, but she's not really dating. She's basically 
sleeping around basically in a nutshell and she ends up having a little sleep around moment with john's friend Ugh, yuck maggie so she has this little moment with john's friend and all of this and it's just what i liked about this book is that one it's hilarious maggie is so funny she is so funny i found myself cackling okay reading this book but it's a really great book that describes how it feels to go through a separation to have the rug pulled right from under your feet to feel like you know things are happening in your life that you've got no control over to make bad decisions to literally tarnish the relationships with people who love you just because of the way that you are currently living your life um, but it's raw and it's authentic and it shows how people go through a lot of self-sabotaging, self-deprecating behavior, especially when they go through relationships, you know, um, overusing of substance abuse, in this case, particularly alcohol. She does a lot of drinking. Um, but also the great part towards the latter end of the book is where she starts to realize all these mistakes, goes on her healing journey, her self-discovery journey, starts to go to therapy and things like that. And it's good. It's really good. Outside of the fact that I just found it absolutely hilarious, absolutely hilarious, but it's really, really, really good really good and a book that i started at around the same time as maggie's book is all about love by bell hooks and this is a non-fiction novel a novel this is a non-fiction book and it's really truly let me let me let me just read it out to you because i remember um reading a perfect description of what this book is about right it says that all about love new visions provides radical new ways to think about the art of loving offering hopeful joyous vision of love's transformative power it lets us know what we must do to love again gathering love's wisdom it lets us know what we must do to be touched by love's grace and it literally looks at love through the eye of you know, feminism through the eye of living in a patriarchal society and how these things have altered what love looks like to us. It looks at uh, love through the eyes of grief, through the eyes of uh, heartbreak, communication, all of that kind of thing. And it's just really, really good. There's so many nuggets. There's so many nuggets. I've literally underlined most of this book you know uh one of my favorite quotes says love is as love does and it is our responsibility to give children love at this point it talks about children when we love children we acknowledge by our every action that they are not property that they have rights and that we ex respect and uphold their rights without justice they cannot be love it talks about honesty in in the children aspect it talks about how you know how you love your children as they are growing up fundamentally alters the way that they see the world through the spectrum of love. It's so good. Man, Bell Hooks, what do you even mean, bro? This, this, this is really good. And then what I've recently currently started, and this is an arc because it doesn't, the book doesn't necessarily look like this, but this is Yellow Face. The current paperback that is out there looks exactly like this, but then right down here, it's the the word yellow face and this is by rf kwang and this is the first book that i have picked up by rf kwang i've got uh babel as well which i cannot wait to dive into first things first that i picked up in this book i cannot put it down so i'm like literally listening to it in the car i am paging through it when i'm in bed it's so good and if you are somebody who is in publishing or books or that kind of thing anything to do with work revolving around books i really think this would be a great book for you to pick up we follow june and june is a writer who's got a very good friend by the name of athena lee and both of them are writers but athena is doing so well and athena is asian and she's doing really really well she's got netflix deals because of her books that her books are you know um, translated into different languages all over the world. Listen, she's got deals on deals on deals and royalties and all of that. And then one day, June and Athena, and they're pretty good friends. Not 
really good friends, but they're pretty solid from when they were in, you know, uh, university, college, whatever. But uh, one day, June finds herself at Athena's house and they are celebrating a manuscript that Athena has recently just finished. Okay, she hasn't shared it with any of her editors, any of her publishing people, whatever. She just wrote it silently, blah, blah, blah. And as they're enjoying and celebrating the finishing of this manuscript, they decide to make some food and something happens to Athena. Basically, an accidental death. But while June is there, she realizes because her career as a writer is just really abysmal and Athena is doing so well and people love her books, she decides to take that manuscript because Athena dies, okay? With this accidental death, right? She dies. She decides to take uh, Athena's manuscript and make it her own. June is very unlikable. The book is written so well, hence why I say that I can't put it down, but June is extremely unlikable. I cannot stand this bitch, okay? Because she's stealing somebody else's work. And the craziest thing is this manuscript that she's taken has a lot to do with Chinese uh, history, culture, things that have happened. It's written from an Asian perspective and she's not Asian. So she encounters a lot of problems going forward as much as, you know, she tries to get this book and, and write it under her name and change some things here and there. The gist of it is there's a lot of Chinese history in this book. And obviously the people, the editors and all of the people that are overseeing this book before it goes to publishing are like, how do you know? All this guy and she's like i just i've read it i i did the research i did this this <sighs> yeah so i'm about three chapters into this one and i really do not like june and i am hoping that she pays for what she's done she's got no shame she tries to justify that no even though it's athena's manuscript she made so many changes to it and all of this and i'm just like but june it's not your book though uh, anyway so i'm gonna uh, go change and head on out to this shindig and uh, wish me luck i'm not in the mood to kiki with people but maybe if i'm there i'll enjoy it and whatever <laughs> i don't wanna but for now i'm gonna close up this house because definitely i'll be back late um it'll be dark by the time i come back so i'm gonna shut everything down close up switch the lights on and head out so i'll probably see you guys tomorrow okay okay bye
Oh, that looks great. That looks freaking awesome. Okay? That looks amazing. Just gonna add a little bit more. So, so this is net for the culture. A little bit more chili flakes. Net for the culture. Not too much now. The flakes are hot. Keep it in the fridge because it's delicious. Oh my God. Oh, that's a bit better. I had to um, do a thing, but um, it's freaking awesome. So, oh. I'm gonna need some more new cucumbers because I'm gonna murder this salad today. Good morning or afternoon. It's the next day after the braai. I walked in at like 1.30 this morning. It's hot, it's hot. But it was freaking awesome. Even my sister came. Mmm. Mmm. Lord. Even my sister came to hang out with me and my friends. It was so nice because typically we don't do it that way. Normally, I will join her wherever she is, but she hardly ever joins me when I have my sort of chill sessions with my friends. But she came over. I actually have my pods in because I'm listening to an audiobook. Yellow face is awesome! It's so good. So good. RF Kwang's writing style. Wow. Amazing. But, uh... Okay. I'm getting a video call from my very sister. So, let me just, um, jump into that. What's, what's going on? Hiya! 
Hai. Nyas bang chelil. So I was on a long uh, call with Naledi and Senzo. And when I tell you I'm halfway through it, when I tell you during the call I pre I'm prepping another one, the sauce is in the fridge, it's already done. I'm sorry. This is one of the best. Okay? And the chili flakes make it nice and spicy. And how can do that? Mmm. 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 Crunchy. Mmm. Awa. Awa we ni. And I'm literally gonna throw the fresh one into this one because it'll be gone within a day. It's so good. It's so good. Wow. I am. Last night. Last night was fun. It was awesome. Just so much fun. Um, but yeah, it was. Uh, it was so much fun. <laughs> I'm gonna go put some TV on. Relax. It is Sunday. Uh. I make it a point to rest on a Sunday. So I'm gonna do just that and maybe I'll pop in a little bit later. I think I'm not gonna cook today. So I think I will just probably order some Nando's. I, I, I'm not gonna cook, I'm not gonna leave the house. So I'm probably just gonna order some Nando's and have it with this amazing salad and call it a day and call it a day. Yellow face on the other hand, so awesome okay bye bye Nike. yo yesterday was so much fun this part of my head is still throbbing but okay. <laughs>